All right, hey guys. So let's um, let's get started here. Sorry, send the last couple of things up, but almost pretty good to go. All right. <clears throat> So yeah, welcome to the uh, to Simon Says <laughs> episode eleven. Simon Says it's episode eleven. Uh, I think it's episode eleven. I'm not really sure, but you know, whatever. <laughs> we'll we'll make it up as we go. So um, just going to keep working on this uh, on this project today. Keep kind of fleshing things out and stuff. So this is where we're at with uh, with this kind of big big shot as it kind of stands. So um, got a whole bunch of hacked half finished you know elements in here so obviously uh, uh for those of you that might be new or whatever you know kind of uh we've got this kind of piece down here which was going to be a big kind of entrance way that we designed up in 3d coat and then i was sort of revised and things so um so yeah just just gonna keep um keep kind of fleshing this stuff out and, and taking it a little bit further um hey new new follow um thank you for following and um yeah, hope you enjoy the stream. Um, so, if I go into this other window of Blender, is this is where I've taken this kind of like sort of main, you know, kind of focal point kind of area that's happening. Um, like I see, say each week, you know, to see this kind of process, you can go back through the through the videos on uh, on Twitch and also on uh, YouTube. So uploading these to YouTube, I'm a little bit behind in the uploads, but um, yeah, I've got to get those. I'll try and get those sorted out uh, this evening for everyone, so they're all kind of on there. So yeah, it's just sort of still working through and and um, just getting all of these bits and pieces kind of uh, kind of fleshed out. So I was having a look at some references. Uh, let's have a look here. Ref. All right. So, oops, do that. All right. So, having a look at some references here, and kind of wanted to try and get, uh, wanted to try and get um, some. Uh, oh, Siri. Thanks. Probably don't need that. <laughs> um, so, uh, I wanted to try and get some more, you know, interest in kind of the. Um, this kind of area down here sort of our stairway stairway um, kind of you know all of this sort of section and I think that will really work well into you know how this is going to look into this big scene that we've kind of got going on here so yep this is going to be epic and I want to kind of make up some uh, uh, lots of wooden pieces as well we're going to make some little dock kind of areas and things like that so yeah just just working on all of that stuff as much as possible and uh yeah without further ado i'll just kind of like get into it so um i'm going to bring up this reference here and just have it up on my other screen i think um yeah but if you got any questions or anything you know any comments anything like that just um yeah just let me know happy to to chat to you guys online <laughs> um so what do we got going on here let's have a look so yeah just want to maybe some more kind of like block sort of pieces would be kind of good so like always if things get a little bit overwhelming and i want to make sort of individual pieces i can always kind of do that off to the side which is what we've kind of been doing a lot here where um we've got What have we got? Do we have? Oh no, that's right. I had them, but then I deleted them, didn't I? <laughs> Oops. That's right. So anyway, we've just got this building in here. But <laughs> let's make some more pieces. So maybe some sort of like little little ancient Egyptian rock, you know, stone carvings, right? Shift right click, shift A, mesh, cube. Um, let's just make this guy a little bit bigger. See S. All right, let's put this over here, a little bit away from there. Sometimes, like that navigation stuff can get a little bit crazy. Uh, view. 
a line of view, center view to cursor. That will normally sort of like fix that business up. Um, all right, so let's just go into the textures here. Probably in this material, we can do some stuff really quick. Um, where have I got that? Which one is that? I guess that's this one here. So I'm going to click that, click on that one, go Control L, and do, 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 do. materials, right? So yeah, Control L, which will link, and then link the materials, right? So I've got that. Um, and then what we're going to do here is um, I'm just going to go into well, I'm in the UV editor. I'm just going to hit U. Oops, hit U one here uh, tab into edit mode select it all hit U and just go cube projection um, and that will just get it kind of like just wrapping around this guy and then we'll see see how much we kind of want to do so yeah I don't I don't it's not going to be these big these big kind of things but those big carvings it's going to make this a little bit more a little bit more simple maybe it's some of this stuff down here right so let's come up here just go like put it on here this um, I'm just using the uh, the face select right so it's just selecting that that one face there all right let's make sure it's front on and then I'll just hit uh, U and go project from view and that'll basically bring up a little box in here so just hit a that will select it all then I hit G and G will move it and then we can just you know kind of get it get it fitting wherever we want in actual fact like maybe I just want this to do, 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 wrap around uh, uh, let's see here so we, I guess we want this one this one this one and this one and then let's go uh, no we can't do that uh, maybe um, let's go UQ projection let's see if that should do that and then we hit S scale this down oh no undo hit A and then hit S and scale that down and let's try and get this all working on all of these sides so S G so maybe we just want a little bit of a top bit there. S G S shrink that down a little bit and then we should have that on like doing the same thing. On all of those sides there. So there we go, that's really cool. And then we want the top. We want the top just to be like, you know, bricks. <laughs> Rock. So let's just select the little top there. All right. Let's make sure we've got that one selected. U project from view and then just find out where that guy is. A, G, and where we want, we just want something like that, right? But then just working on the scale. But just, you know, really simple, whatever. Just never gonna really see that kind of stuff. So there we go. Um, that's pretty cool. That's, that's working well. So, um, So cool. Um, all right, so we've got a little, we've got a little brick there. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my references. Uh, maybe we've got, maybe there is some sort of. We might just need a couple of different, different little guys. So let's use the same textures, but just, um, but yeah, just get a different, different kind of shape going on here. So. Just once again, really quick. Um, I actually think like this is pretty much all we need for, for this one here. I'm just going to do something here. Just go go uh, tab. Sorry, tab in. Just hit L, and then so it's selected everything. I'm going to go Control B and drag that out. It's just going to bevel this edge a little bit. So I'm just uh, Control B, just pull that out, and then I want it to bevel like a few more times. So hit S, and that'll add more little edge loops in here. So yeah, there we go. All right, so cool. That'll do. That'll do. Just makes our nice little rock. Just have a few little rounded corners in there. Our stone plinth thing. 
Tab. All right. Didn't shut up about that. Do another one. <laughs> Shift A. Mesh. Cube. Where'd you go over there where I had, had that before? Yeah. Yes. Jeez. Move you over there. So you're kind of next to that one. Sometimes when they're next to each other, it can be a bit problematic as well, just because, um, uh, just because uh, you can't see the side. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's all good. Anyway, we'll just just putting that one on the ground. Um, all right, I'm doing this in like Eevee, but oh, all right. Anyway, we'll just we'll do this here. It's fine. Um, all right. So, um, mm -mm. what else do we want to do here? We want to make one of these little plinth kind of things. So let's do that. Um, so what do we got here? Let's just go uh, tab. Let's go in here. Just select this top top uh, face. I'm just going to move this guy down. Just do a bit of S like like that and this E like that maybe E S like that and E and E S make it wider and E <laughs> there's a lot of S and E S E E S <laughs> and if you run into the top of the screen like I did because you know noob all right then we can just move that guy up a bit we want a bit more room all right and then we can just be like what do we want to do here let's go e uh yeah and then s move that a bit e e s e e s <laughs> e all right and then s b <laughs> cool but yeah really quick getting those nice little uh nice little shapes in there so yeah um you know it's really cool works out uh works out really really good really nice and quick and then what we can do is because we've kind of got this inside like it's just one shape it's that cube and we just kind of extruded it and did a bit of like you know some box modeling kind of stuff right now we can just kind of text out the same so if i hit tab and move out of there uh we just have this one selected first the one that doesn't have a material on there and then click on this one control l link the materials and there we go so then that material is linked to that one which is really cool and then we can go into the uv editor which is this little guy down here so if we go tab right this is going to show up so now we're, we're we're in here and i always like to just hit l and just do like that cube projection first um hang on sorry oops hit l hit u um, Q projection it just means it will like texture all of those faces so if I ever kind of forget about anything it's kind of at least it's done you know to to like you know some sort of semblance of something or other all right so let's make this kind of similar to this other one in some regards so what I might do here is just going to be a little bit tricky with this uh, we're just going to select that and then we're going to go um yeah and then we're going to select the side okay, we can't see all that but anyway let's just go shift and drag a box around there and then let's try and get the other one go shift do a box around that one and what do we want the back the back and shift and drag a box around that now we've got all of those sides there right and then what we want to do is just come back to the front and just go u um q projection and what do we got going on? What do I do? Uh oh. Why did that not? Why did that do that? I don't know why that did that. That's not very. It's not nice. What did I, I must have selected something else? Did I? I don't know. What do I do? Just didn't want to play ball. Oops. Hang on yeah and then have we got all of these i think we've got all the sides there sweet let's go back here uh 
Oh, look, up front. All right, let's get you Q projection. Okay. And then what we should be able to do is just get this stuff kind of like all the same. So, um, so let's get A, and then we're getting some other top faces and things, but that's all right. We'll just worry about those sides. So let's go like down here and then something like this. And let's have a look on there. Cool. Yeah, that's that's doing what we kind of want to do. And then we can really get in there and do specific things if you want to as well. So the other things I might kind of do here is like, let's select some of these um, some of these edges. And like we don't have to do this on all the edges, but let's get some of them and then Control B. Oops, hang on. Control B and then drag that out. Oh, this way. Why are you? What am I doing? So, control B. Why is that making it really small? I'm not sure. Uh. <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to bevel some edges. <laughs> Why is that not working? Normally works. Control B. No? Okay. I don't know. It's just it's just hating me. Why are you hating me, Blender? Probably click something. <laughs> no, I didn't know I clicked. That one's being weird. Why is that? It's like a two. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Told you. Maybe that's why it was being weird. Hey, control B. We got three. Three out of four ain't bad. <laughs> uh, delete. Oh. Uh, now what happens? Delete. What do I do? Oh my god. I've got some weird stuff going on here. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. Oh, we won't ever see this side, right? <laughs> Control B. Yeah, and you can sort of go around and, you know, bevel some bits and pieces if you want to. Have a go at doing that. Let's see if it's like stuffed all the way through. It probably is if it's messed up one it's probably messed up all of them but anyway that's working properly <laughs> don't know what that one's not. Oh, all right cool yeah and then like i guess what you can do is where am i of course that one's hang on let's get to, oh it doesn't matter whatever anyway um so what you can do is you can kind of really get into little specific details and stuff so for example if you wanted to kind of really work on like this so i'm just going to show you this i'm probably not even going to worry about that for, for this one uh, actually maybe maybe we could um think about this top you know could probably do a better job than like this little stone bit here so let's just select uh let's get to this guy here let's select those and rotate it around and select those and rotate it around. Those and select those. So it's not selecting anything else out here because I'm in edit mode. So that's like really important when you're in edit mode. And then I come back and see the front again. And then you can see down here. So then we just like can move, can move that to wherever you want it to be and then you can be like oh, I want those guys like a bit bigger or I want them smaller or whatever the case may be right and so then you can add you can kind of work out yeah all this sort of stuff so you can be like so I'll show you another thing so um, what you can do is like if you spl split so if I just go control R um, and add in another edge loop you can basically sort of tell it like down here that's where I want to 
now I want like another face here. So basically if we hit three on the keyboard, that'll select one, this is one, two, three, right? And hit three on the keyboard, right? Then you can basically, yeah, just do the same thing. So move this around and just, you might be like, well, I want, you know, this one on that was kind of almost the same, <laughs> but I like want this one and I want it. Oops, hang on. G, move that over. And I want to just make it like a little bit bigger. So we just see that blue bit at the top or, you know, whatever the case may be, right? So you can, it's really cool. So you can just go through and you can really get into the, you know, to the small details. Um, you can extrude faces out. You can do all sorts. So what we could do here is like come into here, go control R, add in another, add in another edge loop like in here. And then we, can, you know, now we hit three and we've got this face. And if we just go alt, that'll select all of those guys. And then we can go um, E, S and zoom, drag that in. I've got that stupid, oh, I don't know what I did there. You're so annoying. You're so annoying. Ah, oh. uh. This is the bit where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing in Blender. <laughs> and it actually gets into like, there's something that went wrong that I don't know how to fix. Uh, hang on. Delete. 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 Oh, why don't you select anything? Delete. Well, that's D. I'm hitting D. Delete face. Delete face. Mm. Wow. I'm, I'm amazing. I just got rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anyway imagine if that was all beveled and nice there <laughs> let's see if i can you know just now will it work control b uh sort of still a bit janky but anyway whatever it's, it's just like the tiniest little detail we're never going to see but get the point uh i must have done something when i was extruding that or whatever anyway but yeah it looks really cool right how you can just once you've got the texture on then you can make everything kind of fit to to what you want so yeah it's very cool so we could maybe just go control R and like this sort of stuff is so forgiving so control R just add in like another edge loop and then hit three on the keyboard we've got this face here get alt oops no it's not that one it's this one like that and then hit uh, E S so if you like just extrude it in like that sort of won't work you get a E then S and then you can scale it in yeah and then you cut yeah yep you get the point <laughs> you guys get the point and look how cool that looks it's just got those little little areas there so yeah obviously you know got a little bit and you can go through and you can be really specific about how you're doing things and get it looking you know like as, as cool as you like possibly can right so yeah so have a go at doing some stuff like that so yeah it's very cool very cool all right so now i've got a couple of little pieces let's start throwing them around in our in our scene let's just grab these and go alt d alt d it's going to make an instance of those guys shift d will duplicate them but they're all going to be the same so we can just make like an instance of them which is pretty cool then we're just going to start trying to get them in our scene here. Where's that one? Where are you? Um, one of these ones here. It's good if you have all this stuff in layers and groups and things <laughs> instead of being a slacker like I am now. Um, now I want these to be like pretty small. So these are our kind of like smallish details that we're starting to add in. Yeah. And we can squash and stretch and all this stuff around as well. All right. So I want to get some of these guys up on here, I think. Yeah, we think about the size of our door and like, you know, how big a person is and stuff. So these guys are pretty small. Just see where it like cuts in to the ground there you just want to have them so they're not not uh you know off the off the ground a little bit back over there let's go alt d escape
some more lights. Try and get these a little bit more even. Sweet, and we're just going to start, you know, these smaller details are going to give us a sense of a scale in the image. <laughs> I've got that's bigger on that side. Mm. What did I do? It doesn't really matter. It could be a bit offset, that's okay. It's just it's good to know that it is offset. <laughs> uh, that's right. These guys. Maybe I just made this shape not in the middle, but I thought I did. Mm, weird. No, definitely, we can see more of them on this side. It's like this whole thing's not in the middle. <laughs> um, can I move all these? Ooh. Those guys. Uh, these ones? Shift, shift. Oh, that's in the middle. Ah, uh, anyway. They're all twisted and stuff. What did I do? No, they're not really. It's just good. Got some weirdness going on, don't we? That if we Delete, delete, delete. Let's do like an Alt D. Escape. Oops. Alt D. Escape. No, it's something about that angle that's weird. I'm like OCD. <laughs> gotta have it all. It's gonna, gonna be all exact. But they're not. So. <laughs> Alright, and then we want some. Let's like texture this stuff too. Uh, what do I do? Alright, let's just go that one onto that one and go Control L Materials. And that's gonna because I alt deed them, <laughs> right? They're they're a duplicate, so it's really cool. So go in here, go tab, and then it kind of selects them both, right? So yeah, I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I've got it won't select those other faces, but it will like show that I'm selecting them. So just hit L, just go U, Q projection. And let's grab this, go A, G, oh, yes. Uh, what do we want to do? Um, let's do like this. Just get it so it's all kind of like textured. And then we can sort of run you know run other stuff over these as required um yeah which we'll keep thinking about so tab let's go shift l materials tab u q projection um a S G K 
Cool. All right. Now I've got a, I've got an idea for some stuff kind of going on down here. So yeah, I'm still just gonna boop, boop, boop. let's move some of these guys around. Whoa! Not do that. Where? Hey. All right. Very good. We're good. Some of that. Mm -hmm. Too many references going on. What else am I looking at? All right. <clears throat> Shift D. No, X. Oops. Hang on. Let's not do that. Delete. Delete you. Alt D. D. Escape. Uh, let's try. Undo. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna stretch some stuff, but that's cool. So I can like grab these two and we can do a Alt D escape. Control M for mirror. And you want to hang on, control, control M, and then hit X, and then click, and then drag those across. Then we've got that on that side as well. Where is that? That's like, what have I done? What did I make? It's really off center. Ah, <laughs> oh, I just. I can't handle it. Whatever. No, I think it's actually going to kind of be nice. Um, Alt D, escape. Oh, hang on. Alt D, escape. Let's just like run another one of those guys into there. kind of goes like down a hill a bit so I've got to just be careful it's like it's a little bit angled there so you just gotta make sure that they're always fitting into the ground I want these guys cross and just just try to make some different um, you know like details and stuff here um, what else we got? Let's grab this whole, let's grab this whole thing, and go. Uh, um, do, 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 what do we do? Let's go. Uh, shift click on here. Control L. Just link that material. All right, and so the scale's wackety whack. Hey. <laughs> uh, so let's just go tab. L and U and go Q projection and then then at least we're getting some stuff kind of wrapping over this whole thing but we got some funky stuff so let's go L let's go A oops Oh, sorry, reading comments. <laughs> what do want to do? You can do kind of funky stuff like this, right? And it will still work. It's just a shame I've got that little white dot in there, but it's okay. We'll just get this. We'll just get this kind to work. <laughs> right. So there's some bits in there that are kind of, yeah, kind of interesting and, and working. Um, so I think in here as well, like let's go back into these and go like tab just on these top surfaces. A S tab 
come on, A, S, G, yep, and just get some of these things, just mostly just working in with the scale, grab this guy, shift click, control L, oops, control L, control L, Not smash my mouse and <laughs> do something weird. All right, uh, tab. Um, U Q project, and we just go um, A G. Just moving these things around. Just trying to get like some different patterns and things going on. All right, and then. So then what I can do is like, I've got, I'm thinking about for this ground area here, I want to like have some actual kind of stone sort of section. So I've got some ideas for that. All right, and also this at the back here is going to be like one of these medieval pieces. So let's, I'm just going to save this and I'll show you what I mean here. Um, do, 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 sorry, don't open up that stuff in here. That guy is like one of these. So let's go control C and then get back into here and control V. Yay. And I've got this guy here, and that's going to be that bit there. Um, so what are we doing here? Let's just rotate this guy. Ooh, item. Uh, 180. No, no, no. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Let's make that. 90. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Let's rotate that guy around. All right, a bit of scale him up a touch. It's pretty close. Yes. All right, and then we don't want him coming all the way through there. So it's like kind of there. He's like there. Let's just move that one back. Delete that guy. Move him. So we're sort of mixing that medieval and fantasy. I think when I do this, what I want to do is like if we go into tab um, L, and I think what I want to do here is go A, we go S, and just make all of these bricks smaller. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Cool. All right, and then we've got our we've got our big temple guy at the back here. Now, yeah, let's use that same texture. I think just keep maxing this out. <laughs> Materials. All right, and there's actually some cool stuff on here. So, um, actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go Alt D, go Escape, because I'm using this guy around a little bit. Oh, hang on, don't do that. Just select that one. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I just don't want to have a jib without that. Eep, better. Okay. It's just this guy. Uh, Alt D. Escape. And I'm, I've got. Uh, we're going to be using this in other places, right? So I just want to make sure that this sort of works. Uh, works uh, fully. So what I'm going to do here is uh, um, let's go tab um, L. Let's go all this. Um, let's go U Q projection. All right. So that's cool. That's off to a good start. So now all those things are kind of like textured. And with these ones, what I want to do is I want to have 
on that front face here. Um, I might want to grab all of these. So what I mean by that is, oh, let's just grab that, rotate it around. <laughs> oh, this is where I should have. Anyway. Uh, oh, hang on. Ooh. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. All right. And line it up. U, Q projection. Uh, X, G. So I wanted to get these. Uh, yeah, this uh, this element on here. Just kind of get in the middle. Uh, and then what you can do is like, if you find that this is like a bit out of whack, right? Scour. So it's like stretching it from the reference here. Um, so yeah, what I can do is hit S and is it what is it Z? No. S. What? There we go. And that'll like stretch it up, which will squish that image down, right? right sort of being near the top. Yay. And then hopefully this is on all. Oh, there we go. It's on all the way around. That's pretty cool. And you can see like how forgiving this kind of stuff is, where, um, where like you know you can yeah it doesn't even really matter too much what's going on up here does it so yeah it's very very cool very kind of exciting what you can do muck around with it and then you can extrude bits out pull, you know tuck them in whatever whatever you want to do all right so once again let's go to the top and kind of fix up that because that's all like no that's not good <laughs> So yeah, let's once again hit tab and just select these kind of top bits here. Let's do a better job of selecting. All right, and then once again, just make a front on U Q projection S. G, SG, SG. <laughs> uh, S. Sweet. Cool, and yeah, like I said before, you know, we can make those windows darker and all that kind of stuff as well. Just add those little materials in uh, where you can just select the faces of the of the windows. Um, so let's do that. Remember, let's try and add this. <laughs> I haven't been doing much behind the stuff like over the last week or so. I'm like, oh, I forget. Um, what are we doing? Materials. So we want to add a we want to add a new material let's just select all these faces first oh that one that one that one that one that one, that one. all these little guys that one that one that one that one that one that one <laughs> we just want to make these darker so i'm just going to go new material and i'm going to go down here because i'm sure i did I'm sure we did. Oh, maybe I didn't in this, right? Anyway, okay. So we'll just make a new material. So we we'll just get new, and then we literally just make it like a yeah, a dark gray, right? And then you're like, okay, I did it, and it didn't do anything. No, I didn't do anything. So you just need to click assign, and then basically it will assign that material in there. So there you go. So now we'll just make those windows, you know, a little bit darker there, right? Which I think will look look a bit better in the sand. We can mess around with that, you know. The, uh, the brightness of them so yeah but there we go because I'm going to use that that uh, that building a few times in the scene so it's good just to get that right and this thing here we've got to fix this 
this is going to be those like roof tiles um so let's 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 what i'm gonna do um da, 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 da. we don't need that we don't. let's remove that remove that one that's that material but what do we want to do we want to make like a new material here so we're just going to undo that one we're going to hit new material and we're going to go back to the shader editor and perhaps we'll make it like our other little red you know red tiled roofs so um so let's so go back to textures folder and drag in the roof you just drag an image in sorry just drag in an image into here it's just one here roof stone just drag that guy in uh just base color and then we're just going to go into the uv editor uv editor we're going to hit tab and then we're going to go hey actually let's go and hit l just in case um let's go oops u cube projection hmm. it's better if you hear like front on right otherwise the things get all messed up u cube projection Oops, what do I do? L. U. Q protection. Okay, they're just like that anyway. <laughs> Fine. Fine. B like that. A. S. What do I do? I'll make it nice and small. Alright. Sweet. Yeah, I think that's cool. We'll see how that looks like in the scene. Alright. Okay. So this is getting there. Um, all right, and I want to just do a few things down here. Um, let's like hide that. Oh, hang on. Ooh, let's delete that one. Let's do a Alt D escape. Let's just hide these. Let's just hide this white bit. Oops, uh, LD escape. Cool, and then I wanted to add in this ground. So let's save this for a bit. I'm gonna go into Photoshop. Oh, I think I've got a whole bunch of stuff open in Photoshop. Oops. <laughs> and I wanna make some sort of like ground texture. Um, I don't know what, actually, like I think that we could just, so I've got a few textures here, some like stone kind of ones. I think this, something like this, would just look pretty cool. Got this one. I got this one. Let's just try, hey? Let's just try this. I think maybe that one. So what I'm going to do here is go tab. We want to keep all those other textures. So yeah, now I don't know what these ones are here. So we'll just. Uh, hang on. All right. Well, fine. Okay. Let's remove you. Remove you. Let's get a tab. All right. So we got that face selected. Uh, new material. Uh, sorry. Like add a material. Make the new material. Then we go into the shader editor. Shader editor. We got this. We're gonna throw in this guy. Create a new like image node. Just select you know add it in there all right um i remember it's not going to do anything because now we need to click assign right and then we've got this here so then what you can do is go to uh the uv editor all right and then we just then what do we do <laughs> let's go down here and go a s 
s g can we get rid of that line maybe not we need to do we need to edit that or can we just you know what we could do we could do something else right we could try this I mean this is it like it's getting close but the scale you know the scale is really like wackety whack so be careful of that so if we go back to this go into edit mode right and then I'm on this space here let's just right click and go subdivide and go subdivide again um, and subdivide again cool yeah let's do that now let's guess we need to do, do, do how do we get this to sign to these faces do we need to do this select these guys that another one let's go again uh oh where am I? We're underneath, right? Hey, is it that one? No. Oh. Uh oh. Where am I? We want that. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And let's just go view and project from view. And then if we. It's just going to do the same thing. <laughs> All right. I just wanted that edge loop in there. I could have done that better, better ways. <laughs> you project from view. All right. So let's try and make it like as big as we can without having that green bit. And see if that's enough. Uh, almost. Let's go because I'm, you know. Oops. And sure. Three. Oops. Holding enter. That's not really helping anyone, is it? Okay. You check from you. Now I think we can get that scale kind of working. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we want to make sure. Oh jeez. Escape. Gee. I had the after all that I still got that little green line in there. Now we don't have it. And I think like it's not even really gonna matter that this tiles, just that like green line was a bit painful. Um, you project from view. Oh, that's a bit painful, isn't it? It's not too bad though. Remember, like you can sort of cover things up as well right so you print review probably a better thing to probably the way faster thing to do would have been to just fix this in photoshop oops you know sometimes simple things Getting some stones happening. Getting 
getting some stones happening. That's cool. All right, let's go in here. Tab. Oh, sorry guys, just trying to do things as quickly as possible. <laughs> Some of this stuff all takes a bit of while, doesn't it? Delving into the world of 3D. <laughs> it's in control B. And remember to get the right um, to get the right amount of bevels that you want. You just hit S. So control B. Drag it out to the size you want, then hit S and it will add in the number of bells that you want. Easy game. Yeah. No, this knocks off those some of those edges and things a little bit. Probably be good on lots of these other things as well. Still need still a few things need to work on, hey. Um I worked out what it is. That's a different. Why is that like a different height to that? I don't, what's going on? Guess that's changing all that. What did I do? Delete. Delete. It's this guy. And this guy. Alt T, escape. Oh, I see what I did. <laughs> what a space get at? I didn't mirror it. <laughs> Control M X. Yo <laughs> might be helpful. Uh, all right. Smooth that in. A little bit. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Still not sort of right, anyway. Oh, that's better. Uh. Better, better, better. All right. Uh, Alt D, escape. Oops. Just you know, starting to get into those sort of nitty gritty, nitty gritty details, which can. Um, I think if I was doing this in like the other scene, you know, you kind of find that a little bit overwhelming. So, remember how I said like sometimes doing it um, in a separate in a separate kind of scene like this is really uh, is a really good way of not not letting it get too overwhelming on you and then you can really you know push your scenes like to a to crazy you know details which is what you want to do what you want to do maybe guess <laughs> hopefully multi escape Some of these guys, gonna put some of these guys down here. These might be tricky because this is like angled down, right? Alright. 
shift select T escape <laughs> I've no idea how long this is like gonna take to render and stuff when we get to do all that <laughs> whatevs we'll worry about that when we get to it eh? <laughs> Let's do it. I think I did. I did. Edit. Redo. Alt D. Escape. Alt D. Escape. This is going to go down into the water. Into the water. We're going to have some sort of like, yeah, um, dock, docking area down here. Let's get all D escape. Let's rotate. Was it there, that one, that guy? No. No. Okay. Uh, let's go control, control J. Nah, let's not do that. <laughs> this is kind of cool. No. Right. Oops. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, escape. And I might just get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. And hopefully we can just combine all this together <laughs> and it will be okay. Alright. Feel like we're getting a good mix of that sort of Egyptian medieval. Kind of wanted to add. I want to add some of these other like round, round guys. These guys, not that one. These ones. Um, control, control. C. <laughs> this other scene's getting bigger than the, this one, but this is cool because like, yeah, we could do like, you know, we could do some other shots, right? We could do some other illustrations where we're kind of like, guy walking up to the temple. Yeah, and you see him by like hacky, <laughs> some stuff written, you know, hackity hackity hack. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, gotta fix those stairs. Hold on this uh what are we doing uh control v paste yep 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 all right so where are Seeing about somehow sort of like trying to combine this together to make a kind of cool shape. So right now, now I'm just going off the reserve, <laughs> making new stuff.
this that kind of looks pretty cool thinking oops Tab, it's kind of here. Uh, sorry, hang on. X ray, turn that off and select this guy. A, 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 A. <laughs> Tab. Ah, oh, we got some problems. No, but that's okay. Sorry, I'm not worried about that actually. I'm just more trying to get the shape working. Mm. Let's maybe put some. Yeah. What material is this one? Material. Material 10? Guess. Material 10. Alright. Let's do this. Let's get tab. And just like that. Let's turn X-ray view on just so we're getting all of that. All right. And then let's do a. Do, 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 do. Let's add a new material here. New material. Select this one. Material ten. All right. And then let's go this one. And. Oops, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Tab. Select, select that. Um, 0, 10, sign. Mm. Q. Q projection. Why is that that material? Was it material? Oh, okay. Oh no, oh, it's alright. Tab. There we go. It's just doing funny business. S. S. X. Yeah. G. S G Tab Cool And if you want those things to be more circular we can just like subdivide it more We can just subdivide this whole thing more Um I think there's shape that's not gonna make any difference um yeah so we could just subdivide everything so what you can do i'll show you show you how you can do this like sort of in a in a slightly non-destructive way even though I'm... sorry i'm just there's some bits here that i sort of just want to make sure that things feel like they're half Cutting in sort of somewhat reasonably. Right, so um, if you go here, what you can do is you can add a modifier on top. I don't think I've really shown you guys this kind of stuff e either, but um, yeah, you can, uh, you can do this and then you could go subdivision surface. And then we hope blender doesn't crash <laughs> it's doing with let's not do it like that <laughs> yeah it looks great cool good good story <laughs> delete <laughs> uh, 
what about if we select these? Sorry, I don't even know why I'm bothering doing this because it doesn't matter. But like subdivide, subdivide. Yeah, and then that's gonna well maybe shade smooth. No, oh that's gonna. I don't know. Shade flat. <laughs> what else? Let's go back and like undo that as well. Uh, undo, 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 undo. If it's not really going to make any difference, let's just keep it low, as low poly as possible for now anyway. And I was going to undo that. I was hoping I could do the subdivision modifier just on top, but anyway, what else? Uh, Alt T, escape. Uh, undo. Why don't you move along the red? Oh, I got that. I think it's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Sorry, just uh, changing my mind. X ray view off. Delete. Uh, I just wanted to change that because I thought that I could get like a slightly better scale going on with the kind of overall shape but yeah it's cool save let's grab these guys Click on that one, control L, materials. I mean whatever. It's probably fine. We'll just we'll see if we can see them when we put it into the scene. Uh yeah, we need to Yeah, so oh, man, there's always just more stuff to do, isn't there? Tab. See you front on. Check from view. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Undo A. S. It's better. G. Right. Like it's starting to get there that we can just not have, I think. Alright guys, uh I'm just gonna do a quick bathroom break and then I'll be right back. Just bring up my little be right back screen. <laughs>
All right. Sorry about that, guys. Just a quick impromptu break. <laughs> All right. So, mm, let's just delete this guy here. And <clears throat> yeah, we can have like we can do some flags and get some people in here and all sorts of stuff. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the last thing I need to do. I think to this just for the for the time being. Let's get these stairs working now. Hoping, what did I actually do with these? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's select them all and. Material four. Okay, yeah, all right. They, they kind of we'll just we'll just make it. That's one. We'll just see how this goes. So this plane here. Let's hide that plane for a sec. And. I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. Oh, am I in edit mode? Whoops. Select this. Yeah, all D. Escape. And then I'm just going to go Control J. And merge all of that together. All right. Let's go Control C. And let's see if we can't put it in this scene. It's gonna. This is gonna mess everything up. <laughs> it's because it's. I'll explain why in a sec. All right. Item. Uh, what is it? Why is it? Oh, uh, yeah, I think maybe one eighty. No. What's that? No. What's it rotating around? Ah, oh, let's just let's just do it this way, hey? Where am I going? One eighty. Um, and the reason why this is going to throw some stuff out is because, um, yeah, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I just had this like placeholder thing here and now I'm like and now I've got this big giant one anyway um, let's keep going stop getting distracted uh, da, 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 da. all right let's just delete delete don't need you uh, To keep you, let's move you up there. That little guy. All right. Oh. Oh, how do you fix that? Um, control A. Uh, rotation and scale. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Why can't I do that? Doesn't matter anyway. Let's just select that. Select, 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 select. Control J. Fix you up. Sort you out. All right. That was that one, wasn't it? Let's just make these so I remember <laughs> from the distance. Okay. Get this guy here. Need to. Scale down. We don't want you to fit somewhere in there. Uh, control A. Rotation scale, just reset that. And I just want to make sure that like this sort of goes into the ground there. We're near enough the ground and then we might just need to kind of you know just make sure these things are all got a stupid cube up there that I could hide that I'm big stubborn about 
<laughs> What's that one? It's another one of those guys. It's moving over there. That's cool. And that's what I mean by this is all going to throw this out because, yeah, because <laughs> I have all these other bits. Uh, being being cities and stuff. Uh, what are these guys doing? You can go in there. Yeah. And you can go there too. Why not? Have these two guys there. That's cool. Let's look through the camera now. All right, and now we've got like a yeah a different different kind of vibe going on here which is looking pretty cool um, all right let's get out of there now what I want to do is I want to get rid of all of these janky janky jank 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 things I did <laughs> these guys uh, it's gonna selecting fog I know what's happening where are you fog one fog two Let's hide you guys for a little while. Do we have, do we have another fog in here? Oh, I don't remember. It's been so long. Alright. Uh feels like there's something else. What's that one? That's the that's that ground. Alright, so yeah, these guys here, these were a bit average. What was this one here I did? Was that the is that the same thing I just scaled up? I'm sorry, clicking the wrong buttons. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, Josh, yes, all, oh, yep, modeled all this stuff up. That's cool, if you just got here, <laughs> been going like this for quite a while. So all these bits, oh, just done all of this. Oh, actually, the only bits I didn't do are the palm trees. I grabbed them off. Sketchfab. Um, tab. Yeah, this is janky. Whoa. <laughs> so I just wanted to get rid of all of those elements, right? So let's do that now. So really quickly, let's go back into, actually, I'm just going to save this. Let's save, save as, and number nine. Sure. But we're getting a pretty good like poly count stuff on this on our, on the city. Um, all right. So. What do I want to do? Go back to the other scene. That's right. Sorry, forgetful. All right, grab this guy, Control C, and go back to other guy, other thing. <laughs> this, uh, Control V. All right, so let's start doing some replacing. So I've got one there. Let's move that guy. I don't know where that just moved. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Yeah, so that was sort of in there. Just making sure that's in the ground. And then shift, shift, no, alt D, escape. Let's make another one here. Delete that guy and then we go Alt D escape. Put another one back here, go S and make you bigger and do that and do that and then shift no alt D I get so used to do shift D S Delete. Let's go back to the camera view. Yeah, that's cool. Got this guy down here. Alt, Alt D, escape. So this is one of those guys as well. But yeah, let's maybe just do what I did there and rotate it. <laughs> Not like that. Undo, undo, undo. Just move it. 
delete. It's cool, I'm just playing around with those bits and pieces. Got this guy here, do we even need that guy? I don't know. D, escape. We probably need something in that hole there. Across a bit, go back to camera. I sort of like don't want to render this, hey? <laughs> I feel I feel it might break the stream if I hit cycles. I want to click cycles because we want to see what it looks like. <laughs> but we're going to break my computer. Maybe. Actually, I think it's going to be pretty good because we're really reducing like the, the kind of poly count stuff here at the moment. So, yeah. But, all right. Let's just, without further ado, I normally just talk too long in these when I'm doing this. All right. Let's just shut up and do stuff. <laughs> We need some we need some peers. We need a peer. Alright, and we need we need this. Oh I see. I see, I see, I see. I've got stuff down here. Where is that? What is that doing? That's that guy there. Let's remove you and put you somewhere else. Because I think you can kind of still be useful. But like over there. Yeah, and then we can see our little stone. Guys, so the thing was, remember, I wanted this to just lead down into there. Oh, we can't do that because we've got kind of rock. All right, that's cool. That's good to know. Let's do that. And let's do that. And shift D, escape. And just make another one of these guys. It's kind of like we got some other little stair, stair bits. Big stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah how cool is that guys so you can really push those details of your scene right and then we can get yeah we can get all sorts of different shots here maybe we can get some shot from like up here somewhere or something it could be kind of cool yeah I don't know anyway mess around with that camera but let's go back to my camera view here. Uh, tool. What are we? Oh, I don't know. Tool view. Let's change that to thirty-five mil, right? Then that's kind of matching up with our actual camera. That makes a bit more sense. So it's just kind of like, can I just? Can we? Can we do some other stuff? Yeah, anyway, I have here. What camera is this? Let's have a look. Um, get a camera. Camera? 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 I guess. Oh, yeah, I don't know which one's which. Can we find it? Let's get a camera one. What's that one? Oh, there's another camera over there. Camera one. Camera one. Camera. 35. Yeah, it is 35 mil. Okay, good. Very good. Proceed. <laughs> what am I doing? Don't do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh man, there's still so much to do. And we've still got villages. We've got our little medieval buildings in the water. <laughs> um. Righto, anyway, okay, let's get what we'll do. I'll do a render at the end of the stream. We'll see how it looks. Uh, remember, we've got all those bits of fog and lighting and yeah, all that kind of cool stuff in there. So I think this has kind of come along. I want to like, just really quick, let's go in here, let's hit like tab on this and hit L and go to the UV editor, UV editor. That's not that one. Why are you doing that? Wall brick two. Wall brick. Is that really? Maybe it's that one. That makes a bit of sense, but let's make that stuff. Yeah, that's better. That's gonna look better. Just fixing some of that scale up, which we may just have to, you know, it's like that. 
that is. We need help. Tab. Oh. Okay. oh, whatever. I'm just going here. Uh, hang on. No, that bigger, smaller. <laughs> no, too small. <laughs> Better, 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 better. Uh, sorry, what was I looking at then? Can't even remember what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, let's do these. I need to look up some reference. I'm, I'm like putting that off. I'm doing all sorts of other stuff, so I don't actually make my my uh, peer wood peer. Just because I, I wasn't organized and I wanted to get some reference and I didn't. Around time. I've got reference for other stuff. Oh, why are you doing that? Alt D. Move. Move. A little bit. Alt D. Yeah, and the idea of this, you know, if we've got, kind of got new people joining in, is that we're going to make sort of like a full-on production sort of painting from this. But really making it really heavy in, in 3D and going through all the steps that you need to do to, to um, yeah, to make um, something like this as cool as possible. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to quickly, let's see if I can quickly Google. <laughs> what I kind of want to do, oh yeah, I guess we could make something really simple, couldn't we? Just, just, just simple. We'll start simple and no doubt we'll get out of control. Alright. Okay. Wooden pier and wooden, wooden. I'm just gonna sorry. Wooden wooden plank texture, texture plank texture. Mm. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. So let's save this guy. But that's looking really cool. I think this is I think this is really coming along this like way more complicated kind of setup in here. You know, I think this is yeah, this is gonna look this is gonna look pretty cool when we get this rendered. Alright, so let's go back into here. Um I might even do like a let's just save this. Because I've been getting out of control with all these layers. I'm gonna even do a new let's just do a new general um, I'm just gonna go save as and let's call it uh, peer parts peer, peer parts oops hang on what do I do <laughs> that that is not cancel That's better. Um, all right. So let's make a quick sort of peery type thing. Um, so we've got lots of wooden pylons and wooden planks. So let's make a plank first. I oh, know this cube's pretty small. Make it a little bigger. All right. To make the this should be pretty quick right like we'll be done we'll be done really soon let's hang on let's 
don't read stuff, don't do that. So I'm just looking for a, a texture as well. Open the tab, so I'm gonna save image as. Sorry, just doing things on my other screen. Textures, save. Alright, one more. Save image. Okay, I've got a wooden pole texture and a wooden plank texture. <laughs> Very important, guys. Very important. Now, because I want to do this like first, uh, because then if I if I get this right, then we can just use this everywhere, right? So we're just going to do something like that. And let's just go sh um, shift A mesh plane and just get a plane in so it, you know. Even when I'm drawing stuff, I just really like getting that ground plane in. Right, it's always making sure things are nice and solid, it's giving you that idea for like, okay, we need this, you know, we're raising this up above the ground a bit, right? That is important. We can even turn on, we can do, I'll just show you little bits and pieces. It's like turn on ambient occlusion, occlusion, get a bit of shadow and stuff going on where's the mm, anyway uh actually you know what like let's just <laughs> i'm just way over over complicating this come on just make the plane <laughs> the, the pier uh light sure <laughs> sorry um okay so we've got this one let's just go down to material let's do material new material uh let's get back down into here shade editor so if you're new to this like new to the stream this is how you kind of sell sell this stuff up because i made a new scene so it's all kind of default so this is what you can do right um so yeah and then we just got our wooden hang on sorry name my folder up Get our wood texture all right show what that one looks like that so I just download that off our old friend um google old mate google the googles <laughs> all right and then let's just go tab and let's change this to the uv editor all right hit l l oh, hang on You know, L and then um, U and Q project because that's just going to kind of get everything you know, get a bit of a texture on everything and then on the top because we're really only worried about the top here. So then we're just going to rotate this around so it's the other way. Um, so let's go A and ro rotate. And uh, <laughs> do that. I'm over the w wrong window. <laughs> uh, did I just rotate that? Oh god, what did I do? Okay, and let's go S X. Not <laughs> just S then X. Uh, that so I hit S. That will change the scale of this little orange box, and then X will um, move it along either X, Y, or Z. Right. So you hit X, Y, or Z, and it will change that scale. Right. So if I hit S and they go Y, it will change it along the up and down. If I hit X, it'll that way, and the other one this is not very useful because. There, we're in 3D space. <laughs> All right, but cool. There we go. So we've got our little like plank here, which is which is really cool. So we've got that great. So 
basically I've got my little pier plank and then we just want to make some like poles so um, shift right click that will make the cursor move in 3d space shift a and we go uh, cylinder and that will just make the cylinder kind of go there um, and then what I can do here is I just want to go tab just click on this oops I made it oh don't do that hang on undo 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 sometimes that's useful to do when you're in edit mode but let's go out of edit mode first and then go shift a mesh cylinder all right now yeah, that's that's better okay and what i want to do here is just transform this and we want to make some pier poles just try and get the scale right all these things it's always about getting that scale right so and they're just going to sit something like that but well, i want to make it a bit bigger and and we could have some throw in some sort of big ones there as well but maybe like that okay all right that's cool uh should we do some we could couldn't we we could do some little bits of rope. Should we do some rope? Now I gotta remember how to do that. <laughs> uh, we can do some bits of rope quickly. Why not? Um, Pratic, yeah, asking like how long that this would normally take if I was doing it under deadlines. Well, much quicker than me <laughs> prattling on and explaining everything to you guys. And if you think about it, we're up to like episode 11, so this is 22 hours. So, what's that? Eight. So, it's like 2.5 days at the moment. So, and I reckon I could do that in half. So, I think I'd be like a day and a half in, right? I'd be up to where I'm kind of up to at the moment. Um, yeah, if that kind of helps explain it, I reckon. And, and I think if I did a painting like this with this level of complexity in like a few days um, for a client, like that would be pretty good. And I'd probably tell them that it's going to take a week. <laughs> right? So I'd, so I'd like to sort of think if I get a painting like this done in a week, um, that's pretty good. That's uh, pretty decent kind of speed. Um, all right. Let's do... Um, shall we do this? All right, so um, so let's go shift A and do a curve and do a a Bezier curve, and that's going to be down here somewhere. All right, now I think once I'm if we go to sorry just gotta remember how to do all this so if we go tab and then basically got like this curve here but i think if i delete uh, delete delete de delete is that a little bit there i don't know what nothing that's just the origin point right um so now if i let's do some maybe i should have done this in oh okay sorry let's get out of there let's do this because i want this to wrap around this surface here what did i do did i look at a curve here let's just delete 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 you um all right let's go into edit mode here let's go into this one then let's go shift a and can we do this okay don't worry <laughs> shift a curve all right sorry anyway now i'm stuffing this up aren't I? <laughs> all right then we go tab and let's just grab all that 
Well, that delete dissolve the error. That gets rid of it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to come down here to like draw a curve and in so then let's get just go whoop, like that and then no hang on wrong is it this one no draw draw someone why is that not working sometimes did i because i've got that one I want to go into where do I want to go? To here, geometry. Let's want to change the depth. Maybe that's because. Oh, we got that one. Okay. All right. Righto. I don't know what happened over here. Oh, oh, because it's under there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a rookie. I've <laughs> only got one there, hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Select that guy. Delete. So, okay. Draw. Draw. That one. Yep. Now, the other thing we can do is. Uh, in the tool, so we hit N. Sorry, I've done this pages. In the tool, um, you've got the. Da, 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 da. We can do it to the surface, and then I think that I can sort of draw it so it like kind of goes around, around. Like, see how it's going around this surface here. That's so cool, right? Do you guys all see what I... Do you guys get what I did? <laughs> I hope so. So basically, like, I'm drawing with a curve, right? And in geometry over here, so you've got to make sure you have, like, the Bezier curve selected. So essentially, when you're doing anything in Blender, like, if I select a, a camera here or something, if I'm not... I'm in edit mode at the moment, but if I go out and I select a camera or whatever, it's, it's this second tab to the bottom is always going to change to whatever, like, thing you're on. So at the moment we're in BZ curve, so it brings up all these options. And then in here you can like change the depth of the curve that you're using, right? So yeah, it's super cool. And then when you do when you come into here, so you hit N N on the keyboard, that hides and shows all these options here. So you go tool and then your prediction depth, you can choose cursor or surface. So if I like shift right click here and then choose cursor, it'll like draw it sort of from the cursor does that make sense and it's it's pretty easy to control like it's really easy to control it's kind of disturbingly how easy it is to control and then basically what you do is you just come up to here to select and then you can just basically like move move these things around like uh i'm assuming you guys have used like the photoshop um like pen tool before right so it's the exact same principle so you just and then you can literally you can sort of get in here and hit G and then just, you know. So let's move this guy. Move it like back into here. You just, yeah, obviously you got to be, got to be a bit careful there. Where you're going with things. All right. Let's grab this one. Shrink that down. Move this guy out. Yep. So does that sort of does that kind of make sense? So yeah, if I want to kind of like just get this a little bit tighter, right? Let's just uh, what do we do? Let's just select all of this and go delete. Dissolve, get rid of that all. Just go back into the draw, not annotate, the draw, and just make sure that we're wrapping it around the surface. And then just go zoop. And <laughs> no, you why why are you down there? 
why are you doing this? Sorry, I haven't got to the next cool bit yet. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're almost at the cool bit. So if you move that, hit G, it will like shrink that down, right? And then you can click on the middle one, and the middle one's where you kind of like drag that. So here, so we want to make this one. Just go back in here. Right, so it's just like Photoshop. Pen tool. You see that, that bit, the top bit there is wrapping around the surface nicely, so we just need to get this other bit. Just plain ball, sorting out. Right, so where are you? Let's go here. Let's move you up. And then this guy. Let's like move you up. Move, move this guy. Just less. You around there. <laughs> wrap, wrap, wrap. All right, and then so the cool part is then you can kind of treat this like mesh a bit. So if I just rotate this guy up, I just need to get um, just want to make this go up there so that curves working and then we just move the little point there to where you want and then tuck it in and then yeah, and I'll tuck that in. There we go. Where's this? Move that out a little bit. Move you out a little bit. And then what you can do here is you just select that point there then you can just extrude out another one so I just hit E and then I'm extruding out like another another point and you can woo, put it wherever you want wrap that around the surface uh, so you can come back in here and just like R for rotate and it will rotate that around G just move sorry I'm a bit slow at this don't do it all the time so and but sometimes you can get like a heap of mileage out of like this one curve as in like I can really sort of like sometimes I never quite know like if I kind of expand these guys out how far I can like wrap this around if that makes sense <laughs> so grab this point here and be like Zoop. and move that down there and then and then tuck this guy back in there and grab like this point and uh, do that you see what I mean you can like oh just really wrap it around the corner there uh, let's just go E and then you've got like another Ooh, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Another guy. Yeah. Maybe up there. Maybe back in. Rotate. 
rotate kind of like yeah you can see what it does right you can see let's grab this guy So I might move that in. Move that out. Let's just do one more. Eight. Eight. Where are you, Where are you going? Oh, whoops. Yeah, there. Just something like that and sort of just wrap it back up in here. You just want a little bit of rope that's, yeah, magically being tied around, tucked in under. <laughs> this is going to be so small, right? Like, yeah, it was more just to show you how to use the. Uh, how to use the curves oh where'd I go this guy here I just need to move you out so I can see what's going on here Uh, rotate. Be a fiddling. Stuck you in. Cool. Like that'll do for just a pretty, you know, just a simple little ropey bit. All right? Pretty cool. So now if we go tab out of this, we've got like this bezier curve, and you just right click on it and go convert to mesh. And away you go. And you can yeah that's fine you know what I'll, I'll show you before I do this this is still a busy curve right um, you can now where is that item tool oh, tab let's go tab here we go tool options workspace no item. Hang on, already. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. It's going to be to the tab right sorry i just want to show this so you can change the resolution here so you can make this like eight and it will like kind of double the resolution but you can make it like two and just see you know one see if it's still holding together if it's holding together that's fine right and then you just hit tab go out of that and then right click on it and convert to mesh and then if i go tab yeah you can see like it's nice and low poly right and then we can just make that um let's just hit let's get tab let's go materials and just make that a new material and just make it a ruby color 
Cool, sweet. All right, really quick, sorry. I took like way too long on that, but <laughs> you, get, you get the idea, pretty cool. And then we can sort of go uh, shift or do alt D, escape, and just a bit of that. You could probably come up here a bit and just rotate it. Uh, right click, set origin to center mass. That's because I alt D that. All right, so right click, set origin, set a mass. All right, cool. Then let's go Alt D, escape. If you up, down, down, that's what I was doing. And then I was coming up here and I was rotating just a, just the tiniest bit, just so they're like, you know, a little bit different. Okay, and then we want to just go here. Sorry, it took too long, but it's look good. Let's go on here and let's quickly go back to the textures and I've got a little wood pylon texture here so it's going to materials shader editor grab this guy bring it in here attach that it's cool and then we go tab uh, L U Cube projection, we could do cylinder, whatever. Uh, let's just go to the editor, and basically, what we're going to do here is just um, go A, rotate because I can see that's the wrong way around, and then hit S, X, tap, sweet. We've got a little white bit at the top. So we could even just uh, select that one. A, S, X, S, tab. All right, and then we've got all the pieces that we need for our little pier. Shift, D, no, escape. Did I, I did, delete, Alt, D. Okay, we just want to make an instance of that. So there we go. You know, the other thing is that we could do is uh, let's go undo, undo, scrap these, Alt D, escape. And then what I want to do here is just go grab this guy. Oh, whoops, I didn't. Ah, oh, my rope. <laughs> oh. Alt D, escape. I just want to leave that. Oh, fire. Dude, what am I doing? Alt D, escape. I just want to move that over there. And then we're just going to grab this and that and that and go control J merge that together alt D escape D escape control M X Shift, 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 control, J. Oh, because we made a, oh, anyway, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> hurry up. All right. Uh, alt, 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 D, escape. No, alt, D, escape. D, escape. I want to make something that's sort of like reasonably impressive. <laughs> it's not that impressive yet. 
对对对对对对对对对。All right, let's do this, and then we'll finish up. Um, can we do this? Alt D. D escape. And then I want to go tab and P for loose parts. Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay. like that guy. That's why I wanted to have this guy over here. Uh, oh, stuff this up, didn't I? Oops. I'll fix this up after. <laughs> Let's go. Chip, 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 chip. Control J. Control C. <laughs> Let's just add this into the other one. Really quick. See where that kind of goes into the water. It's back here. It's cool, and we can do, you know, obviously I've fixed that up so it's so we've got a front bid and all those types of things, but then we can get some boats in and yep, all this kind of stuff. So if we have a look in here, it's just a really small element. But yeah, we've got to, we'll do some more close to the camera, we'll get some boats in, some flags, all that kind of stuff so yeah all right well that's like the end of the stream but let's this may break the stream because i'm going to try and do a bit of a render of this right um so i need my fog my fog fog cubes one for two those guys all right, and yeah, I'm sorry if this crashes the stream. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye to all of you. And if not, we will. Uh, I'll just let it go through and render for a bit, and then I'll uh, and then I'll close the stream. The stream down, guys. All right. So yeah, really good to um, see you guys, and I uh, hope to see you again next week. So it looks like it's it looks like the stream's still working. <laughs> it looks like it freaked out when I when I hit render. Um but yeah. It's coming through. So yeah, I think overall like I'm gonna make this scene, you know, like we're gonna we're gonna add like tons more atmosphere and make it a bit darker and stuff, but yeah. It's cool. I think it's really starting to sell that scale, that big, you know, that big piece in the front. But we're sort of, yeah, we just need to try and get a bit more depth in there, I think. Some little overlaps um, through through in this section. So we just have to keep building up those shapes and really just um, selling the scale of these uh, buildings and stuff. Just getting all that to work as well. Yeah. That's cool. This definitely changed material. That was not that before that was the darker darker material i have to fix that 
and all these were like darker and that was kind of yeah making it separate some of these elements out but yeah I mean you can see where it's heading and then you just let it render I'm gonna to set to like a thousand cycles <laughs> It seems to like not really make a difference whether you have it set to like 32 or a thousand in terms of um you know like you just go you just leave it just wait for it to do its thing um, yep and it will just keep looking you know it will just keep sort of looking better and better as it keeps rendering through those cycles but yeah a lot, a lot of this at the moment will be the lighting which is um which is that sometimes hard to play around with in the in the stream because it's so intensive you gotta gotta move something one mil and move it back <laughs> change it do it change it <laughs> make it work but um yeah all right so that's it guys see you next week we'll keep working on the piers and get some boats in get some people in there um some more kind of uh more kind of th those sorts of elements we're really bringing the uh the scene to life but um you know i think it's in a it's heading in a good direction so far so yeah looking forward to seeing uh where this gets to okay all right bye guys